Hey, hello friend, welcome back to this video. I mean, to this series. I think this is the fifth video, I mean, fifth part of for this series. Uh, and the last video also, we had some problem uh, regarding the DNS that also resolved. Yes, in the time of, you know, practice, definitely it will come the problem. So we have to be, you know, resolve these things as IT people. So we have to be analyze all these things. Okay, no worry. Uh, so what we done in the last video, we have installed the activity, right? And after the complete of installation, the server autom automatically started, restarted, right? So go to the DC. Yeah, it's restarted. Now it's time to log in uh, here. Right click, send control all Dell. Okay. See my company administrator scheme, right? So it's very secret. I cannot tell you, but yes, for you also, it's very secret. Secret the password because uh, nowadays it's a very critical things, right? Hackers can do. All these things if you I think you know better than me right not an issue yeah I'm able to log in yes yes Yeah, a server manager is loading. This console is loading. Uh, let's see whether the installation is successful done or not. So how you know that? Here it will show you uh, what the roles and services is installed. Uh, so if you look at here, it is refreshing still. Wait for the collecting all the information. Yeah, here you will get all the information, right? Here we'll get the Active Directory, ADDS services is installed complete. Yeah. Um, <laughs> CDNS, ADDS, successfully completed. Correct? Okay, not an issue. But yes, DNS is installed, but is it working or not? Let's go to the command prompt and resolve the name. For that, the command NS lookoff. Okay, this is the command. You can check the NS lookup working or not. Default server, it's not working. It's still 127.0.1, right? For that, if you remember on the last, we get the issue hints what we done. We given the DNS address, but now it automatically changed to 120. So that is the lookup address you will look at. So I didn't change, right? You look at it's automatically changed to 127.0.0.1. It's a lookup address. Okay, so here what we will do it's a 190 to 168.1.2. We can give and do the okay, okay, and okay, 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 and go to the tool, go to the DNS console. Okay, if you look at only forward look option is configured but if you go to the reverse look option it is not configured the first time default only the forward look option configured hence you need to configure reverse look option if you look at we we got the issue there is no parent zone right because it was first time we install installed right that's what only the forward zone configured look option configured not the reverse for the reverse look option create the new zone this is very important guys you you it is very uh, you know important thing you are getting you know opportunities to see this. so please look at and practice as primary there are different zones are there so it's not right time to talk about the zones but yes uh, there are the other videos are there you can look at see so the primary zone next because this is the primary dns server next ip version 4 not required 6 and here what you will do look at i will you just I'm typing something here it will you look at here what is it doing and type 192.168.1 only three it's IP so it created the ADR ERP means it's a library address library okay so it come in forward with reverse with right I type is 192.168.1 here 1.16192 right so reverse that is what allow both secure non second the testing and moment update it okay great it's created right now create the ptr record go to the browse dc forward as my company here it's this one right or ip 
192.162.1.2 right okay okay now this thing also created right if you look at i have announced to now i am announced what coming same thing let's refresh okay close it open the command prompt ns lookup yes now it's result right it's not came on i 172.0001 it's came the proper ip address the system and proper fully qualified domain name this is called acudian ccm dc this is the name and this is the domain it's a fully qualified domain name right so dns thing is done now it's time to go here ccm server oh yes yeah it is uh, pinging last we have tested right connectivity and firewall things we have disabled correct now it is time to join in domain right this is not the part of mycompany.com so we have to make it part of mycompany.com for that dns connectivity is required if you for that i can tell you if you go to the command prompt and type ip sorry ns lookup you cannot get right see now 192.168.1.2 click here close close right okay now the second step what we need to do we need to join the domain right yeah see what if you click over here change join domain what is the domain name my company right company.com correct right it's okay what happened you wrong something no right okay let's check again here i think we did wrong something details 161.3 oh see small mistake can create big problem so 191.68 not 98 yes now our problem will resolve okay ah uh, what happened here still no ah uh, yeah which username password need to be domain username password it's already came mycompany.com so administrator administrator c okay i given the password now it will prompt and welcome to this my company domain yes thank you sir you are welcome close and it asking for the restart you have to be restart once whenever which system you need you join in domain at the second in it will ask to restart the uh, to successful join in domain so you have to be restart right so it is restarting uh, it will take some time so for that let's uh, uh, go to the or here what we have done now dc part is completed right and here done and we have joined the domain also install the active directory also done and we have joined the domain so here what we have done uh, i think uh, you understand right make the lave architect you understand initial configuration of your lave and domain that also i have completed along with a different article from technet i have done but you need to do it so this things is completed to be frank now i mean this thing also complete only thing is how i see you that will to complete that that this is the small question three words question but it's a big thing so you will understand this entire series complete okay not an issue so what we done join the domain right so this part is done right joining part let uh, it's restarted or not let's see uh yeah it's restarted it's time to log in and ccm server c it's came right see um, in the pro uh, before you know log in the system let me log in first okay let me take time no to log in okay not an issue uh, just pin it to you can understand so here what i will i want to explain you 
um, see I have I'm logged in with the administrator right uh, let me check here CMD uh, uh, here what command we need to be I forget uh, to check the login uh, it's a set L it's a set L okay if you see oh it's a local server here SCCM01 only uh, you should log in with the uh, domain ID okay so it's log out it I mean sorry click over here from administrator just sign out and log in with your domain credential so this is the testing environment so I have only the administrator administrative account but in the production environment administrative account should not be used it's they should be create the separate account for the SCCM admin it may be SCCM admin so as this is the testing environment so I can use so go to the other user and here my company okay give the slash a D M I N I S T R A T O R administrator and give your password. Okay, so now we log in as a um, domain uh, uh, user, right? Okay, yeah, so no. Yeah, the next thing we will configure the SCCM. So for this video, uh, thank you very much for this watching this uh, video and the series. I mean, uh, in this fifth part, right? This is the completed. So next we will uh, install the SCCM prerequisites uh, by the script. Okay. So see you on the next video. Thank you very much uh, for watching this video. And uh, if you really like, please thumbs up my uh, I mean on video, or uh, you can subscribe my channel to getting the new videos.